Number 40, using the data in the check your learning section of example 5.5, calculate the delta H in kilojoules per mole of silver nitrate, which is AgNO3, for the reaction. And then they gave us this. So NaCl plus AgNO3 will yield AgCl plus NaNO3. Now I went back and I went to example 5.5 to just get the information that we need to figure out this problem. There's basically two things that we need. We needed to know how much of the silver nitrate solution was used. So there was 100 mils of a 0.2 molarity solution, and we needed to know how much heat was made during that reaction. So in this case, there was 1.34 times 10 to the third joules that were produced. Now in this case, we have to find out the delta H. Now just know that the delta H is called enthalpy. Now I kind of remember this because well, I remember this because I see an H in the delta H, obviously, right? And then there's an H in enthalpy. Now, if we keep going with the H idea, the enthalpy is basically the amount of heat that is produced by one mole of the compound. Now, in this case, they wanted to know what the delta H or the enthalpy was of AgNO3. So we're going to find it for one mole of AgNO3. And that's what the unit of enthalpy is always going to be. The standard units is kilojoules per mole. Now they specifically wanted the moles of AgNO3, right? And the kilojoules. So I need to put kilojoules on the top, put the moles on the bottom, and then we just divide them. So let's see. Let's do the kilojoules first. Well, from example 5.5, they told us that this made 134 times 10 to the third, or 1.34 times 10 to the third joules. So it looks like all we have to do is just convert from joules to kilojoules. Well, how do we do that? That's just dividing by 1,000. So you just take this number and divide by 1,000, and you'll get kilojoules. So that's an easy kind of shortcut to remember, all right, guys? So I'm just going to go in 1.34 times 10 to the third and just divide by 1,000. Uh, I think it should just be 1.34, but for, for these, I just like to always triple, triple, triple check myself because you never know. <laughs> this is just 1.34 kilojoules. All right, so that's the top, 1.34 kilojoules. Now we have to find out how many moles were produced. Well, they gave me a volume. They gave me 100 milliliters. They gave me a molarity. How do I get from a mole from a molarity and a volume? Oh yeah, remember this formula? They're never gonna leave. <laughs> molarity equals moles divided by liters. We have the molarity. We have a volume, however, this is in mils. And if I'm using this formula, it needs to be in liters. So let's just quickly convert from mils to liters. How do I do that? From mils to liters, I divide by 1,000. So that's like a little trick. So this would be 0 0.100 liters. OK, so now I have the molarity. I have the liters. I can just rearrange this formula to say that moles equals molarity times liters. So let's go for it. The amount of moles is equal to 0 0.200, right? That's the molarity. And then I'm going to times it by 0 0.100. So the amount of moles of the AgNO3 is 0 0.2 times 0 0.1. So 0 0.02 moles. OK. So that's going to be on the bottom. Now all I just do is I divide these numbers and notice how the units are not going to cancel because they're two different units, right? I can't cancel those out. Kilojoules on top, moles on the bottom, they don't cancel. So the units will stay. 1.34 divided by 0 0.02, I get 67. So 67 kilojoules per mole, or if you want to write it as kilojoules per mole, that's fine with me. So that's the answer, guys. So for every one mole of the silver nitrate, the AgNO3, 
there will be 67 kilojoules of heat that are absorbed because this is endothermic. It's a positive number. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. All right. Tell your classmates. Maybe they need help in chem. We also have physics and math videos at the moment. So go check the channel out. All right. Love to help you guys. And I hope you're doing well. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.